Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and yes, I, this, I'm giving you the final, one of the final three reviews for my Consequence films. I, I apologize for not getting these out to you sooner. I know, like six, eight months ago, for those of you who are new to the channel, I do an Oscar prediction as well as a uh, the You Reviewers Awards predictions, and depending on how many I get wrong depends on which bad movies I watch. And now these aren't like the B-horror films I watch. These are just bad, more uh, bigger budgeted Hollywood produced films, okay? And I have to watch those. And normally I try to get them done sooner than I have been and I do apologize for that in the next one I will try to get them out sooner now one of the last three films that I had to watch that I have not reviewed yet was The Apparition brought to us by director writer Todd Lincoln and it stars Ashley Green from Twilight as well as Sebastian Stan Tom Felton and Juliana Gill and basically it's a paranormal story about this couple who lives in this house that they've got and it's haunted by a spirit that we find out was released from an experiment uh, that uh, one of the people in the house, the guy, uh, he was a part of earlier and, and they ended up releasing this uh, evil spirit that ends up haunting this house and tormenting the couple. Now, <laughs> I can see why this was a consequence film suggested by uh, uh, one of the people and I, I asked for uh, some bad films because this film... Ah, I don't think it would have seen the light of day uh, past direct-to-video had it not been for Ashley Green being in this film. They were playing off the Twilight popularity, and so I think they were trying to grab some of that audience. Now, don't get me wrong, the apparition did have some creepy moments in it, and I liked how they played with security cameras being damaged and furniture being rearranged and this kind of mold look to it. So, you, you know, that type of elements I really liked, but it was just the characters themselves there was just not a lot of sense going on with these characters first off the guy ben played by sebastian stan he was involved in this paranormal experiment earlier and when all this crazy paranormal shit starts happening he hides his paranormal equipment like he's hiding porn yeah he's like oh this is my private i hope she doesn't find this i mean there's creepy ghost crap happening around his house and he doesn't get out his ghost busting tools i mean really and then she gets all mad because he didn't bust out his ghost busting tools sooner so you know, it was just certain things and that happened like that that just really took me away from the film, you know, uh, and some other things as well. It was just, it, it tried to be something different, and I can see that. I can see the effort put into there, but it's really just... Uh, you know, I mean, if you get a film that actually makes Paranormal Activity franchise look pretty decent, you know, you know you've got something wrong there. And they, they didn't even really come, they did try to come up with this uh, paranormal experiment that would have been done in the 70s, uh, though I didn't quite look up if it was true or not. I don't think it was. I think they were trying to play off that it was. I don't know. And they, they did this kind of thing with this doll. And, and again, the effects in here were decent, and some of the creepy stuff happened happening I did enjoy but just the characters themselves were really poorly designed poorly written and the dialogue was even worse in this and I couldn't just get past that so you know I know some fans out there in Twilight are probably really enjoy seeing Ashley Green on the screen again but again for paranormal films go if it if it wasn't for the good looking creepy shit that happened in the film uh, I really would give this a lower rating uh, it still only gets one and a half stubs. I really just didn't really care about these characters at all. The decisions they made made no sense. And while it was fun to see some of this creepy stuff happening, we, we've seen it done a lot better in a lot of other films like The Ring and, and The Grudge and stuff like that. So check it out if you really want to, if you're a fan of Ashley Green, but I really wouldn't recommend this to any horror fan out there. Uh, I just couldn't get into it mostly because of the badly written dialogue and characters. And that'll about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stopped.